Good morning. It's Monday and we're getting back after it after going to a car show this weekend. It was a good time. Had over 500 cars out there in River Ranch. Uh, so we left a little bit early Friday and now we're catching back up with where Dean is in his chop. He's got both B pillars canted and tacked in. And now we're getting the rear window sh settled in a shape where place where we want it and where it best fits and looks. And then we'll build the metal around it to give it the proper shape and flow that we are after. See here, Dean's getting his panels laid out, figured out, getting the desired path that we want from, from the trunk line into the window to kind of be a smooth, continuous movement so it doesn't look like an afterthought. You know, he's plotting out all his work, making sample panels, and getting, getting the look that we're looking for so we can then go and make complete panels and get them welded in. So Casper's busy repairing all the bad metal on the inside of the structure where we, you wouldn't normally see in the car before he can come to the outside and weld the quarter panels on and all the other patch panels that he's making for the rear. Also, he'll be incorporating the latches that we use for the, that was on the driver's side, now it'll be on the passenger side. Get that all figured out. All this metal will be cleaned and sealed like the other side is and protected from the elements so when this car goes all back together. started on the 51 DeSoto convertible project this morning. Chris has got the, the engine side of the harness in there. The other side entered into the firewall. He's got the new Vintage Air Gen 4 unit hung. Now he's working on getting the gas pedal mounted, then the brake pedal. And then the wire, once we get everything, all our constraints located, all our things that we can't move, such as gas pedals, AC unit, brake pedals, steering column, once all that stuff's located, then we can figure out where to put all the, the ECU, the PCM, 
the coach controls fuse panel, the BIM modules for the Dakota Digital, and, and the space that's left over and still be serviceable and functional. So it's about getting all your hard constraints completed and then we can come back and do work with what we have left. Looking at here is the customer wants this modern dash. You can keep going. <laughs> In this car, and it's not as easy as it looks, but we're trying to figure out if it's even possible and make it look like it's supposed to be here and not a wart on a frog's butt. But one step at a time. Mm -hmm. So these are some GM and Paula seats that the customer sat in, liked how they felt, liked all the control that he had within them. He's a big guy, so fitting him in the Mustang is a task in itself. So John's getting everything to work like it did from factory, using the factory control panel to control the seats and everything, and getting everything dialed in. So all we gotta do is hook power to them and have a nice functioning seat. All right, John and Joe got the car all wired up on Friday and got it test fired. So it's a little loud like that right now, but we'll let you hear it. And now we're just cleaning up and going through everything to make sure everything works before we do some test driving. Go ahead, yep. We're gonna have to dial back the mufflers a little bit and tone it down a little bit. It's a little bit wild. We're running through the streets of Chicago.
Matt and Tommy are busy today working on some 55 Chevy parts, getting everything sanded and fitted. So as with bodywork, metalwork, everything's got to fit together all through the sequence so that once it goes together with paint and clear and everything that we still have good consistent gaps, tight gaps where they need to be tight, etc. So we fit all the parts through the whole process to make sure that the end result is a great fit and a great looking product. Panel alignments there and everything is has good symmetry and flow. Tommy's getting ready to spray these parts. They've been blocking and sanding and fitting. Uh, he'll put them in primer. That way they're sealed. All, anything is protected and that way it can be set aside till we get to the next round of parts. And this will go in the next building and keep it all nice and safe and protected. So Nathan's busy making it, made another fixture for the fifth axis draw or vise that we have. And we're gonna make dash knobs that are similar to this, except they will have an indicator on them to indicate whether it's for the wipers or the headlights or whatever function they may have. So they're a scaled down version of this. Everything will stay consistent within the vehicle. And he's got some blocks machined squarely and then It'll machine the top side of this like you did the other. It'll go on that uh, part that he made. I'm lost for words here a minute. Uh, this fixture, it'll, it'll mount to this fixture and then he'll be able to do the last part of the machining process. And we'll look at that either later this afternoon or tomorrow.